Good evening, and welcome back to Factory Town, where I have been recording this episode for 2 hours and 25 minutes. This is the fourth version of this episode I'm doing, because every time I end up talking a lot and doing nothing. And I know that annoys some people, and it even annoys me, so I'm trying to not do that. Plus, nothing was happening because I was trying to figure things out. I was being very indecisive about what I wanted to do, so I went, you know what, stop, figure it all out, get it all done, come back, do it. That's the way I'm going to try and do this approach to it. So, so I'm going to go over what I've done, so there will be some talking to start with. Lots of talking to start with. We'll get stuff done. So, some things have happened. One, I have upgraded the town centre here to level 8. We got enough purple coins. We've actually got enough purple coins to upgrade more, but um, we've upgraded this to a level 8, so it's increased its size here. Um, and I don't think I've changed anything else. Oh, I changed uh, this barn to store a 1,000 wood because I needed more wood. That's it. Also, we've unlocked train stations, locomotives, but I haven't used them yet, so don't worry about it. Um, I have flattened the entire world as well, as you'll see. This is all flattened and cleared over here. This is a template for a town. You'll see these squares around. I will explain this, don't worry. Um, so the whole world's flattened. I haven't removed all the resources around here yet. I tried to avoid removing the resources like coal, iron, stone things because we can't place them yet. But uh, things like trees and crops and stuff, I've got, got rid of them. So hence why it's clean. This is our town layout. So I think I've explained this before, but this is the town layout. When you've got level 10 town, the town's influence will reach this corner here and will it basically it circles around and it kind of just taps that one, taps that one, taps that one. So yeah, this is what you can do. You can put in uh, three, four, five, six different things. And I explained how this all works in the previous episode. So you know how that works there. And you can use little bits here, from here. Um, this is 49 tiles long by 49 tiles long. So if we squared it off to this corner here, it's 49 by 49 from here. So you double that and then add three for the center line to make the town, if it was square, but it will be a circle. That's what these represent here, sort of. So that's 49 to 49, okay? So that's what this is. So here's the town center square. That square represents uh, would represent this square on the end if it was here, but this is only one segment of it, so yeah, would represent that square there, okay? So it's the end, the end one, okay? And then, because another 45, and that represents where another town center would be. And then they come down and they would share the outside line. So this line here would be shared between the two towns. So that's what I've done here. So then that's that's the shared one, that's the town center, that's shared, that's the town center, so on and so forth. I've laid that out because that's the idea we're doing for this town here. So we're gonna have a town here not one here, and a town here. Then, you see what I've done here, this is the shared one, and this becomes the town centre. Okay? Beautiful, wonderful, fantastic. No. This was the part that I was getting stuck up on. Originally, I was trying to do a different layout. I was trying to make this a bit smaller, um, and then have an 11 gap in between my towns, in between, uh, so... Let me go over to the map. So so what we represent here, this train track would be actually um, 11 tiles wide and would contain eight tracks. Eight tracks because there are eight towns and every town would have its own train track. They would all be interchangeable, but the design I'd like to do is instead of a supply and demand system, so well, a, 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 instead of a supply system, it's going to be a demand system. Normally, I would have trains, um, uh, like say this town here made leather, for instance. It would have leather trains that would go out and deliver to each and every town if they wanted leather. If they didn't want leather, it would skip the town and move around and come back, fill up, go out again, come back, fill up, go out again, so on and so forth. I don't want to do that. That system did kind of work and would work with multiple rails because you could have multiple trains, so you could have a leather train dedicated for each one. So we're going to do that, but the other way around. Instead of this town having trains sending goods out, this town, for instance, wants leather, so it will have a train for leather. And it will go, I'm running low on leather, send the train out. The train will go out, it will connect to the track that corresponds to the town that supplies leather. Maybe I might just have, instead of a, one track for each town, we might have... Um, like 
two tracks going one way and two tracks going the other way and and we'll figure it out that way i'm not i'm not sure yet on the exact layout i'd like to try one track per town and have very complicated rail signal systems because i like doing that um but yeah so basically this will send a train i need i need leather send our train we own the leather train send the train out it will go to the leather grab the leather bring it back drop it off and then it will sit there and wait and then when it goes i need more leather it will go so if this town also needs leather it will send its own train out to the leather, leather train leather station rather than the leather town sending the leather to places these will demand the leather in when they want it which means if there isn't a demand for it they won't send the train out as often and i think that'll keep the tracks clearer plus having multiple tracks means it will be clearer anyway because we can then put more trains on the tracks because the issue i had when i tried something like this before was that the tracks were just getting full we were just filling up with tracks that wasn't working so so with that in mind I want to make sure there's enough space in between them. Now, this layout doesn't work that way because we've got town center, a three gap in between, another town center. There's no way three gaps is going to work. However, we're going to have, if this is the edge of this town, so this line here is the edge of this town. Oh, so uh, this this here is the edge of this town. And this is this town. We've got, uh, let's go up one more there. We've got... 91 tiles between the two doing nothing. 91 tiles, it says in the bottom left corner there, footpath 91. 91 tiles doing nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this town centre, which would be here, and I'm going to bring it in. I'm not going to bring it right into here, because I tried that, putting it here, um, and then only having a three gap between the two. It would kind of work if we had a bigger gap in between them this way oh actually it would kind of work but what i think i want to do is i want to bring this in to like halfway between these two so it's here so there's still be a gap between the towns on this side and then this one i won't bring any closer to the center of the map but i will bring it around along this way to line up with this town so then there'd be a bigger gap between the two if we can open up so we've kind of got a three gap I want 11 minimum. Really, I'd like more than that because that would give us um, places for the stations to sit. I think that was the problem I had before. I, I moved the town centre to this here, uh, which is halfway between the two. Um, and uh, then, of course, I moved the outside one closer as well, which means I didn't have as much gap for the stations. We need stations. We need a lot of stations. So, for instance, if we come to this town center to our processing one here and we look at this this can run one two three four five six seven eight sixteen twenty four five six seven eight nine twenty nine different goods the processing town can potentially make so it would need potentially twenty nine train stations to support that because a town might request any of those items and it will need a dedicated train going to it. Now, there are some exceptions to this. Obviously, there's three types of fertilizer. We don't need, uh, sorry, three types of animal feed. We don't need that, we only need one type. Two types of bread, two types of cloth, I need one of each of those. Ethers, I'm not sure if we're gonna deliver those because I believe ethers can also be done in the magic processing. Some things can be done in multiple places. So if we go down to this town center that doesn't actually have a speciality, um, and we go over farming, you'll see, um, that's got all the main farming ones there, and that all looks pretty good to me. Uh, forestry has logs and planks in it. Um, whereas processing also has planks. So maybe we could offload that to the forestry run instead, because the forestry doesn't have a lot. Apples. Farming has apples. No, farming doesn't have apples. Farming has tomatoes. Okay, so no apples there. So cool. All right, so yeah. Um, uh, see, that's got bread. Um, we could also do uh, industry supports um, pickaxes. Mining supports pickaxes as well. Processing doesn't support pickaxes, so that's fine. Um, artistry does some things well. So artistry's got bread and fish and chicken in it as well. So I need to go through. I remember doing this before, going through and figuring out what specialities should apply to what town. So it won't necessarily need 30 town uh, train stations, but it will need a lot. Speaking of train stations, train stations are awesome. For those who aren't aware, train stations are awesome. Let's look at a train station. Now, bear in mind, a train station costs 50 iron plates and 50 planks. And it supports 200 
times 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1,600 goods it can store. And it can have 8 different filters on it as well. That makes it better than a barn. Yes, a barn is cheaper to build. But it has the same footprint as a barn. Barns need to be upgraded. By the time you've upgraded a barn all the way through, so we'll do that. So that's 20 planks we just used. Remember, this was 50 planks. 20 stone. 20 iron plates. That was 50 iron plates. Uh, 20 reinforced planks. That's 20 planks and 20 uh, stones. That's that's 40 um, iron plates and planks we've used already. Um, and now we're at 1,000. So for 10 extra planks, not including the stone and um, bits and pieces. Obviously, this, this was planks as well, wasn't it? So, yeah. So it's the same amount of planks. So it's 50 planks to upgrade a barn all the way, 40 iron plates, 20 or 10 stone, and 10 stone brick to upgrade this to 1,000. This is just 50 of each, and it stores 1,600. And have eight different storage items. So you can store eight things in here rather than four. So once you get to train stations, I very much would be replacing my um, barns with train stations because they're just better buffers. And they're the same space and they cost just about as much really or or maybe a little bit cheaper um so yeah yeah train station so yeah so we could choose to have eight items in a train station that's fine we could do that i don't really want to i think i'd rather have each train station dedicated to each item mainly because of the buffer so let's say we did have a couple of towns that wanted leather um, and three towns at once wanted leather for some reason so i don't know um Books wanted it, and Magic wanted it, and some other, just the tree wanted it. If we had one station, the train coming on to pick it up, and we say we put, I don't know, five carts in there so we can pick up 500 goods. I can't remember what a cart does for the life of me, but, but that would be 1,500 goods with three trains. That's pretty much the whole station gone. If we had only this station with eight different items in it for the trains, a train couldn't fill up on it. 200, it'd be, it'd be gone. One train gone, and it'd be empty. So I think we want one station per thing. So that's what we're gonna do. So um oh, this is what here. So this this town center would be here. Um and the actual next town center would be right here, which is pretty good because the magic can go here. So I think we want to put the magic on the desert, so that's why that works. So it's right here in this thing, so that's there. So I think what I'm gonna do, let's um if I put the town center here. That's going to leave a three gap. That's not going to leave enough gap for the Omni Temple. So we don't do that. I'm going to go halfway between the two. So that should work diagonally from here. You can't build diagonally in this game. It's not actually possible, which is... Yeah. Um, but we can figure this out. We can figure this out easily. So let's do... That's 43. Okay. Half of 43 is 22. And you will do 21. Yeah, 22. So that's halfway. So no. Okay, and then if we come here and we go 40, we go 22, so there, and then we go up, that should be center. That should be center of all of those. Looks kind of centered to me. We went from the tent top, top, so 22, 22, so that's center of it. It's not center of it because we actually um, didn't come out the center of these here, so it's slightly off. Um, Do, 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 do. That's difficult to do. So let's let's come out of the center then. Let's go here. So that's 22 there. Off of this one here. That's 22 there. Like that. Get rid of those. And then if we do that, that oh dear, that did not. Nope, didn't think so. I saw it. I saw it just as I let go of it. It moved over by one. Oops, that's the wrong road. Doesn't matter. Um, so that's center. So that means we want to actually do... Um, that. <laughs> Boom, there you go. Okay. So yeah, so that's... Um, that's good. Um, oh, there's something else as well that I haven't ever put in there. If you're ever using the remove tool... Um, uh, and you, you can increase the, this, the the size of the remove tool. If you just click on plain ground, and drag, it will delete everything. If you click on an item on the ground, um, so uh, let's, for instance, do a road here, 
I'll do it right here. You've probably just seen it happen. But um, if I do this and I increase this in size, if I was just click here and drag over, it removes that road. It removes that road as well. But if I click here and remove that road and then drag it down over this one, it doesn't remove it. It doesn't remove any of these things. It only gets rid of roads. See? So if you start on a road, it's wherever the mouse cursor is pointing at, um, it will only remove that road and remove any other items. So you can absolutely mass clear things and not worry about deleting your entire town um, whilst in the middle of doing things. So lovely little, lovely little bit. So, okay, so that's where the town center is going to go. Let's move this one here. So we want to come out by 22 there and then come up by 22 from here. Boom, and then draw those two together like that. Oop. And then... Oop, can't, can't for the life of me actually draw out what I'm going to do. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why has that, that moved around? That's what's happened there. That's why I was drawing the wrong thing. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, wait. So that's where the town centre would go. And then that means the edge of the town centre will be here, and there's going to be a gap between the two, which should be 22. Um, so it was 91, wasn't it, between the two? So we take 44 off of that, so it drops down to a number that I'm not going to calculate in my head. Um, but yeah, so if I zoom the camera in and try and get both of those... And line it up. No, press tab. Do... That. So yeah, that center of it. Yeah, that looks that looks right. That looks right. That center. Yep. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. I'm just double checking. So that's fine. So this one, this is where the town's going to go. So this represents that town, and then across the way would be well, actually across this way would be this town. But I don't want to move this town in any further. I just want to move it up to align to it. So it's the same. So it'd be a bigger gap between the two. So let me figure out exactly where this town's going to go. So this is, uh, let me, the way I figure this out is you click on, go up in the air with the metal conveyor belt, click on this and drag it to the other one, and that should be 45. Corner to corner is 45. So go up in the air from here, corner to corner is 45, which is here. Okay, so I'm going to go up there. I'm going to press three now with this active. And I'm going to drag a straight line. So that's where it should be. And it wants to come up to this height here. So let me press tab to go into top down mode. Um, you can you can change um, your layers here. The first one is just overhead view. You can't move the camera. Uh, you, are, you are snapped in a proper overhead view. So when you press WSD, it moves you directly the way you want to go. So if I put the mouse here, don't move the mouse, just press D. It would always stay in that line. So we know that's always the correct place, which means we know that is the bottom corner of the town. So that's where the town will be. We'll be right here where this mine is. That's where the center of the town will be for magic. Okay. If I then come back from that one by foot, the only awkward thing with this mode, the top down mode, is you can't push page up and page down to make things go up and down in the air. You're drawing on a 2D grid. You have to come out of it, make it go up in the air, and then go back into it. And then it does work that way. So very strange. So if I go 45, that's level with that one there, isn't it? So. But that's going to be the edge of my town. Okay. And if we go 45 from here, again, going back and doing the up and down thing. So 45 is here, press three. So that's going to be the edge of my town there. That's the inside edge. Boom. So this is the gap we have between the two towns. And it is 19 tiles wide. That works pretty well. I could, I could put a track in here. Um, I don't have train tracks on my action bar. Why don't I have tracks on my action bar? Um, rail, it's called rails, that's why. Metal rail, go here. I use, I will use you a lot, so. So I could do, uh, we want eight of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could do that, um, which gives us plenty of spacing. Uh, doesn't really have a lot of space for stations for train stations um, but this outside edge could be used for stations so that's the thing although i want 
I want a more complicated version of this. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, look, at the, I've, I've done it again. 20 minutes into the episode, and all I've done is put down a little bit of rails and done some things here. So this is just going to be talking. I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. As I said, this is the fourth time I've recorded this. It's, it's one of those episodes where I need to get the layout right. I need to show you the layout before I start building everything so that any of you with keen eyes can go, no, that's wrong, because there are lots of you out there with keen eyes. Thank you very much for pointing things out when I get it missed up and mislined up so um yeah so we do that um so that's our rails coming in train i mean stations aren't difficult to do because we could absolutely have the stations uh like so um we could have this this one the station for this one could be uh like here but that's the station for that one that's the station for that one for instance and then we do that do that oh and we do that like that so the trains come along and then they'll go if on the outside track they'll go to the outside to this one here so they come down do this and come back again and if they're on the inside track they'll come down in between the two because we're going to have uh um well it will be the same as or it won't be the same as these because this is uh we can make it the same as these ones here couldn't we Make it same as let's let's try that. So let's um let's see how what this would be. So let's um it's theory craft. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I genuinely, as I said, I've recorded this episode four times. I'm apologizing too much. I know, I know that annoys people as well, but I, I feel I'm trying my hardest to no longer do episodes with no content because I've done that a lot. And I want my stuff to get better, and then I end up going doing this, but I, I have to. I have to do the theory crafting just to make things makes sense this should be the same size actually now i think about it do so 45 is there so boom. this should be exactly the same size as what we've just done i think, I think maybe so between the two is 43. could we do that could we move could we make this 43 and then move this out a little bit more because then that then i could put the stations i could put the rails in the center so the rails could go uh here in the center um so we'd have uh one two three four one two three four and then here we've got space for all the state the train stations can sit here and the tracks can come off and they can dun 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 wherever it needs to go to so yeah because you can do rail stops with multiple signals inside it so we can figure that out Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm sure we can figure that out. So we could do that, yeah, if I make it 43. If I make it rather than this. Um, I could also do that here. Um, so. Six and that's six. So yeah, so that's right. So we could do that. Um, and then you put a train station in here, which um, I now don't have any on the thing, but you put a train station in here, which is the same as a house or a barn or whatever. Um, but I've only got two spaces for it, so the track's got to come. It would work, but it wouldn't be as good. If I had more spaces, that means we've got space for train parking as well. Train parking is very important. Very, very important. So um, I think, yeah, I think we'll try and make it 43. Okay, so... So, give me that town centre, you're going to sit there. Give me another town centre, you're going to sit there. Town centres are set. We know where they're going. That's where they're going. Um, there'll be another two, there'll be one up here, I'll figure out. There'll be one up here, we'll figure out. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go to here, we're going to move this over by however many we said this was. So corner to corner is 45. If I go pitch up, pitch up, corner to corner is 45, uh, which ironically is the actual spacing of uh, the system. I think that's probably makes sense. Yeah, um, between these two are 45. So between these one, that would make sense. That would make sense. So that's 45 to there. That's 45 to there. Remove that. Remove that. And then do 45. 
to oh no hold on we need to go up further in the air it's gotta i gotta make sure it's flat when i'm doing it so there well, so that's where the tan center would be for magic which uh it's not going to get all of it because it only comes down by 45 anyway so it's not really going to get all of it so and there's no way for me to change the terrain um you can't edit terrain so we'll put magic there that'll be fine and then the train tracks will go in the center and then we'll have stations here for this one stations here for that one the only awkward one is if this if this town needs to deliver to this town um the tracks come out and uh gonna be weird we also need somewhere for their their inputs so this is their inputs well actually the inputs and outputs would be the same thing wouldn't it there's no 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 the outputs will be oh god i've got a lot to figure out i'm not gonna try and figure it all out in one go here i'm gonna go with this um we're gonna go with this layout there okay we're gonna make this work unless somebody in the comments tells me this is fundamentally broken um uh please let me know if you can see something desperately wrong with it um so yeah i think this will work i think we've we got enough space we've got enough space in between the two when you pick up and drop offs that's fine um the rails aren't going to be here they're going to be here coming down and going along outside here so we've also got this side of the town we can connect to for the inside rails we've got two sides of the town for the outside ones we've only got one but then we can always divert stuff out so it's pickups could be on the side sit there waiting um same for this this could always be on the inside we could have the pickups on the inside line here and then the drop offs on the main line so yeah okay i'm gonna leave it here we're gonna, we're gonna leave this one here hopefully that makes sense god there's lots of weird crop circles around the place wow um yeah so we move this across and this will actually move out a little bit so we need to buy more more so yeah okay and then we get stuff put in and then we'll start doing this in places and we'll start actually getting some towns sorted so i don't know what towns exactly we want to start with uh mining and forestry is going to be the good ones to start with i think well forestry mining we can't do because we need to get magic going to get omni planters in order to do the iron deposits there's going to be lots of iron underground we can't have you can also uh if you can remove resources underground as well you can absolutely come along and uh, find some underground resources so you go ah and then just remove them get rid of them so you can do that um, if you need to also these need to be moved but they can't move them yet we need research to move them but they we can move those um, i don't think any uh, you might be in the way so we'll move the trading posts if they are in the way yeah okay so that's the plan we are sticking to kind of this and uh yeah so we'll have a drop off for these two towns here like this so the drop off so the inside rail will drop off to there and that that and then we'll have loading for this town on this side so this one will load that side in there and this will load that side in there yeah okie dokie okie dokie thank you very much for watching everybody i do hope you enjoy this one i do apologize it's all talking and no building but i've yeah yeah i've been at this th two and a half almost three hours now and as i said this is the fourth time recording it and i'm done one i just yeah Move on, move on. Stop being decisive. Just pick one, move on. Until next time, as always, have fun.